Hi everybody, head golf professional Tim Harris here along with my assistant Kurt Stiegel. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about how we can do our part in keeping the golf course in beautiful shape. Uh, the month of January just went by us and we had over 10,000 rounds on the golf course in the month of January and all indications are now that the weather's getting a little bit nicer, a little bit warmer, it's only going to get busier. So most of you that golf have probably noticed a lot of divots in the fairway. I've had a lot of people come up to me complaining that divots aren't being filled properly. So I wanted to get the message out to everybody today that it's up to all of us to help us keep the golf course in great shape. So if you're on the golf course, I want you to take a little bit of responsibility. Most of you out there probably do, but there's those of you that don't, to keep the golf course looking good. So filling divots, fixing ball marks, uh, driving the golf carts to the proper places. We're going to touch on all those subjects today. Uh, Kurt's going to show you the proper way to fill in a divot. You can see here we're in the middle of the fairway. We've got an unfilled divot kind of an ugly sight we don't want to see that so we're going to use the sand that's provided and we're going to fill it in and to do it properly you're going to sprinkle it in you're going to make sure that you don't overfill it or underfill it smooth it out so that it kind of you know matches the contour of the fairway we have bermuda grass on the golf course bermuda grass grows in a horizontal manner so the grass wants to go sideways over the top of the sand so the sand doesn't have any seed in it or any mixture or anything like that to help grass grow. It's just there to be used as a filler. So if you fill in your divots properly, then what's gonna happen is the grass is gonna be able to grow over there a lot quicker and it's gonna make the, the fairway heal. Um, as my rounds out here today, I've noticed a lot of unfilled divots. It's basically unacceptable. We want everybody to fill their divots in when you're out there. Even if you see divots that aren't filled in, do your best to fill them in without taking up a lot of time. It doesn't take a long time to just use the sand that's provided and fill those divots in. Please, 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 everybody do your part to keep the golf course looking great. So besides filling in divots, we're gonna go up towards the green now. I'm gonna show you how to properly fix your ball marks when you're around the green. And then after that, we'll talk a little bit about driving the golf carts in the right areas. Okay, ball marks and pitch marks, just as important as what we were just talking about as far as filling in divots. You know, when your ball comes into the green and leaves that indentation, it's very important that we repair them the correct way. Sometimes what I'll hear of or what I'll see is that people are using their divot tool incorrectly when they go ahead and try to fix those ball marks. So Kurt here is going to show you the proper way uh, to fix a pitch mark that is left on the green. If we do it the correct way, it lets it heal a lot faster and we get much smoother putting surfaces. So Kurt, why don't you show them what they're supposed to do here? Okay, so our ball mark came in from this direction here. As you can see the ball mark here, I've got my divot tool. What we want to do is go from the side or the edges of the indentation. We dig the tool in and we want to push to the middle. So we want to take the outsides of the edge, push them towards the middle of the ball mark. We are not lifting from below the ball mark. We're not pushing down to get the grass up. We're actually pushing the edges that have been displaced back to the center. And after you do that all the way around, you can step on it, tap it down with your putter. Or your foot. Or your foot. <laughs> I don't have a putter, so we're good to go. <laughs> but what, what he mentioned there is really important as far as not letting the uh, divot tool tear the roots underneath the divot. So you never want to push down on the divot tool with your thumb. You always want to push in towards the center. It kind of gets all the grass, you know, towards the center. And then when you, once you smooth it down, the roots aren't torn on there. So when you do it the right way like this, you'll see it nice and green. Um, there's some other marks that you might see on the putting green that look brown or discolored in appearance, and that was probably done by fixing it the wrong way. So fixing your ball marks the correct way, very important. Follow that procedure that Kurt just showed you and we'll all have better greens. Okay, another important way that we can keep the golf course in great shape is by adhering to the golf cart rules as far as where you're supposed to drive them on the course. If you look over my left shoulder here, you can probably see Kurt approaching the green. He's driving down the fairway. Our superintendent asks that we keep the carts in the fairway when we can as much as possible, probably as much as you can all the time. Try not to drive in the rough. Now as he's coming, he's going to exit where the green stakes are. Those are the exit stakes. But you also notice that he has a handicap flag on his cart and he is going to make something, uh, a little bit of an error here. He's going to drive up towards me in between the sand bunker and the green. So that is definitely a no-no. We do not want handicap cart drivers doing that. And the reason being is because we have blue handicap discs that are sprinkled throughout the, the uh, green complex. Trying to stay to the outside of those blue handicap discs is important because we do not want traffic, tire traffic coming in between close to the edge of the green, in between bunkers in the green, in between the lakes in the green. 
try to keep your golf carts if you do have a handicap flag around the outsides look for those blue discs and when you park your cart try to park them on the outside of them uh, our grounds crew has put those blue discs at approximately 20 to 30 feet away from the greens some of them may seem a little bit closer depending on the contours of the green complexes but if you do please if you have a handicap cart please be aware of where you're driving it keep it on the outsides of the blue discs when you park um, driving in the fairway, very important as Kurt showed you there as you're driving up, so please keep your uh, carts in the fairway, okay? Okay, handicap cart drivers, here is the blue disc that I was referring to. Um, they are marked with the handicap logo and they are throughout the uh, edge of the greens here, uh, about 20 to 30 feet away. You can see where Kurt Cart parked his cart. It's over here uh, on the other side of it. You also notice that we have a yellow handicap flag. These are the new handicap flags that are being distributed for 2018. Um, I will ask that those of you who um, need a handicap flag, if you haven't done so already, to please see me and fill out an application for one because we're trying to make sure that only those who really need a handicap flag are using them. Um, then you can pick up a flag at the starter station. Also at the starter station is a uh, little handout that shows you kind of what we've been talking about, where to park your carts and where to drive your carts. So if everybody does their part, just like filling in the divots and just like fixing the ball marks in the greens, driving the golf cart, in certain places is gonna help keep the golf course in the great shape. It'll help preserve the turf, let's put it that way. We do not want tire marks, worn down edges, right around the edges of the green and in between the bunkers and the greens or in between the lakes and the greens. So everyone doing their part, hopefully it gets the message out and we can have a nice, beautiful golf course. Thank you. Walkers, this message is for you. Um, we do have quite a few folks that like to go out and walk the course late in the day, play nine holes and get out there and enjoy the outdoors, which is great but we still need to make sure that we do our part while we're out there to fill in those divots. So sometimes I know that uh, walkers might not have a sand bottle with them. I just want everybody to know if you're going out to walk, we do have sand bottles that are provided. Uh, they look like this, it's a thin little cylinder and you can always, it's always filled when you take it out and you can refill it when you're out in the golf course. So, you know, attach it to your bag if you're carrying your bag. If you have a pull cart, if you use one of our pull carts, you can just kind of hook it onto the basket here um, just to make sure that all walkers have sand bottle with them at all times so that when they do make a divot, they can fill those in. Uh, that way everybody does their part, whether you're using a golf cart and you have the sand uh, divot fix right there on the cart, or if you're out there walking in the afternoon, please do your best to fill in your divots. Thank you. We hope everyone enjoyed that presentation. Uh, again, just to reiterate the message, do your best, take some ownership, take some pride in your golf course, please keep it in great shape. Fill in those divots with the sand that's provided, fix your ball marks on the green, uh, make sure that while you're out there driving your golf cart, you're doing it in a responsible manner. Our superintendent would love it for us to just keep the carts in the fairway. And then for handicap carts, make sure you adhere to all the protocols up around the green. Watch for those blue discs. Um, our golf committee has a subcommittee, the Greens Committee, and uh, they're putting together a program that we think is going to help everybody out, uh, kind of like an adopt a whole type program. So please look for that attached to this video where we're going to put the emphasis on you out there to be responsible for a hole while you're out there playing golf. Um, doesn't mean you have to be responsible for strictly that one hole that we assigned to you, but we just want to get the message out to as much people as we can to take a little bit more pride, a little bit more ownership in your golf course to keep it looking good. Thanks everyone.